spring like at all today and it's snowing and it's cold I'm here to discuss with you what rocked, what sucked and what has finished in the month of April I have quite a few bits and, and quite a few empties also so I will start immediately and I will start with one body product that I have and this is actually a saving gel this is a very uh, budget friendly saving gel I got that here at Müller. Uh, Müller is a, a drugstore uh, line that you can find in Germany but also here in Switzerland and uh, they have their own stuff but they also they have a lot of other brands and this is the M Lady Razier Gel Vanilla that has the vanilla scent. I really like the packaging, it's very funky and really cute and uh, I got to try this because um, I could not find my favorite uh, saving gel that I'm usually using and this was really really cheap so I thought that I would give it a try and actually it does a really good work I know that you cannot find it in every country you can only find it if you have Miller stores in your country but I decided to sew that anyway and I personally like sweet scents a lot in body products so the fact that this is vanilla scented also is uh, always a plus um, it is really good so I certainly think that I will use it up and most probably I will repurchase this it's much cheaper than other saving gels that you can find in the supermarkets or at the drugstore next I have two hair products and they're both from Kerastase I have reviewed um, this uh, on my blog on the my latest blog post so I will have the link down below and these are uh, from the Discipline Curl Ideal line, which uh, I have already shown you last month, a favorite, the cleansing conditioner. And this time I'm showing you the mousse. This is the hair mousse from the line and it's called Mousse Curl Ideal. It has Pro-Keratin and Elastin and I'm really, really liking this line. It's the only thing that I used last night on my hair to just uh, slightly define the curliness. I naturally don't have really curly hair, they are slightly wavy but by using the products of this line I have seen a lot less frizziness which is one of my main problems that I have with my hair and it's really really easy to use and in general I'm not a person that I like mousse products for my hair, I always prefer creams but this one works really nice so I really enjoy using it the next one is again from Kerastase as I said and this is the Le Croyable Blow Dry so this is a miracle resapable heat lotion this um, styling product belongs to the Couture Styling Collection and this offers a really long wear hold I have a lot of thermal protectors and a lot of styling products from Kerastase I enjoy using a lot of them and most of my favorites come from this brand so I didn't have really high expectations from this and I thought okay that would be a good one they do really good heat protectors and good styling products but why is this so special and what I really really like with this product first of all it came at least the PR um, packaging that I received from the company came with a little book the blow dry book with a lot of hair styling ideas but what is really amazing with this you can of course read more uh, details on my review blog post is that uh, it gives thermal protection up to 230 Celsius and also the hold that it offers lasts for many days and also if you restyle your hair using a thermal tool you don't need to go as high you just need to reactivate this with 150 Celsius degrees and I really love the fact that it's very resistant to humidity which is as I said frizziness is a big problem that I have with my hair and this works wonders I really really like it 
I have uh, quite a few skincare products to talk to you and the first one is uh, from a Korean brand, it's from Tony Moly. I have this one from a Meme Box and it was waiting to be used uh, since quite long. I really like the packaging, Korean brands and especially Tony Moly, they have really really cute packaging. So it looks like an apple and if you open it you will see here it's like a white cream it really resembles the texture of a face cream but what it, this actually is and it's called the uh, apple tox massage peeling cream something like that but the apple tox is certainly in the name because it's not written up here what is really really cool is that uh, it has uh, fruit enzymes and it gives you a slight chemical peeling. So I'm a person that I enjoy using mechanical peeling scrubs from time to time on my face and especially on my body. But for my face I try to avoid the everyday use or really frequent use of them. And I know that the older you get the more you must uh, avoid mechanical scrubs because they can really traumatize your skin, especially uh, if you have drier skin. I don't have dry skin, but as the skin matures, as you grow older, then it tends to get drier and you need to take care of it even more, especially protecting it from peeling. And these enzyme peelings really do the job and leave the skin very, very soft. This is quite uh, budget friendly, you can find it on eBay I'm sure, but if you live in Switzerland um, there is a, an online store that carry Korean brands that's called eBeauty and Care. I have uh, done a blog post about some products that I got recently from there and you can also find this one and I really really like it. First of all the quantity in here is quite a lot, I don't remember how much because it doesn't write on but it, you can see that it's quite a lot of product and what you need to do is just apply it and massage it on your face for one to two minutes and then leave it for 30 seconds and wash it off and your skin would look really really soft and feel very soft so that's actually one of the best skincare products that I have been using uh, the last period I have uh, two, I have three more skincare products, two of them, they are from Cores and Cores is a Greek brand that uh, you know that I love a lot, especially my favorite line which is Wild Rose and both products are from this line. This is the Wild Rose uh, uh, Advanced Brightening and Nourishing Face Oil that I have shown you in one of my latest hauls videos. You can see that there are really actual rose petals in here and this smells fantastic if you like the rose scent. This is a really nourishing oil. I'm using that in the mornings while I'm using my Pie Skin Care oil, uh, the rose hip one in the evenings. I like the scent. I like how easy it is to absorb on the face. The fact that it doesn't leave the face oily although I apply it also under my makeup and usually I apply my oils just after I cleanse my face and put some toner then I put the oil and then the serums and the creams and this is a really really nice oil and you can see when you use it every day a brightening effect and that's actually the effect that you can achieve with uh, uh, the products from the Wild Rose line and it's a really really beautiful one. Any of you have asked me already after you've seen it in my haul if I start using it and what is my opinion and I'm really really happy with it and I am on the fence with some of the Cores products but the Wild Rose line until now I have not try the product that disappointed me. Some are super, some they're just okay, but nothing is disappointing. And another product that I really really like from this line is the Overnight Sleeping Facial. This is again as I said from the Wild Rose line, it comes in a pot like that and it has 40 ml and this is actually like a face mask that you can apply in the evenings before you go to bed and it's so moisturizing you really it gives you so many hours of sleep just by putting this on and going to bed and you know I have many times mentioned that I don't sleep very well and I always sleep 
not enough hours as I should and I know this is one of the worst things that I do for my skin but this mask really helps me to give a more brightening effect and the skin is so hydrated and so soft when you wake up in the morning so I really really love it actually this line has an um, enzymic peeling mask that uh, is working similar or is supposed to work similar with the Tony Molly one that I saw you so I'm looking forward after I use the Tony Molly one to use that one that I have and it's sealed and waiting its turn so that I can compare them for you and I can also talk about it. I can make a more detailed review on this product and of the oil if you like that because I really really like these products and I think that you might be interesting to uh, hear some more details. And the last skincare product I have, it's uh, actually a mini travel size. This was gifted to me from a colleague that she got the whole three masks pack, but she decided that she doesn't want to use them because she's so bored of washing off this kind of masks and she prefers masks that you can leave on. And these are from Peter Thomas Roth. I think they are available in some countries in Sephora and this is the pumpkin enzyme mask so I have heard a lot of things about this mask in particular especially from American youtubers and bloggers and I wanted to try it so this is a 3-in-1 intensive skin resurfacer treatment that exfoliates with pumpkin enzyme peels with alpha hydroxy acid and policies with aluminium oxide and it says that the, your skin is smoother, radiant and revitalized. So I have used it three times in April already and you just need a tiny bit. I like it so much that I really really want to buy the full size of this. This is really really great and as with the Apple Talks you just apply it, you don't leave it for long, you just uh, leave it for 3 to 7 minutes. You can do it once or twice a week, not more, especially if you use other kind of enzymic peeling products you have to take care to not use this, uh, more than one of these products the same day. So you don't need to uh, peel your face completely, please be, please take care of the, how frequent you use products like that but it really feels so nice on the skin and your skin is very very radiant after that so I'm certainly planning to buy the full size of this product and I'm going to Paris in a few days for work if I get the chance to go to Sephora I think that they're carrying Peter Thomas Rolf at least online but maybe in some store so if I'm finding it I'm planning to get this one too. Passing from skincare to makeup I have a product that is somewhere in between and this is again a small travel size that again have been hearing a lot from uh, uh, US YouTubers and this is the Sugar Fresh uh, Tinted Lip Treatment in Berry so this it's a really small one you can see and I really really like it. It feels really nice on the lips. It has SPF 15. I like the berry scent and I also like the fact that it's tinted and it gives a beautiful berry color. I have been using it not since very long, since some days now and I really like it and I know that I will use it up very very soon. The only um, minus of this product for some people is that it's really soft so I wouldn't suggest that you will carry it around in your handbag especially if you live in a very warm country because then it will melt and it will look a bit disgusting. I just took it with me once and already it feels like a bit melted so I will keep it here at home and use it but it's also really nice to use as a base on your lips together with a lip pencil or under a lip gloss because it gives a very very beautiful color and it smells fantastic and uh, you cannot find this in Europe I believe you can only find them in US or in North America in general but that's something on my list for the next time a friend of mine goes there and and asks me if I want them to bring me something. Next I have two Guerlain products that I have shown you already. I have done a first impressions video on these products that I will link down below 
and I have been using them since I filmed this video for quite some time. I think that this video went up maybe two weeks before you watch this one, but I film it since quite a lot of time and uh, I have been using that since nearly half of the day since then. And um, this is the Guerlain Lore Primer and uh, it is fantastic. I love this so much and it's so crazy expensive. So the first time I used it and my first impressions were that I really like how you I can apply it, I really can see that it brightens the face and um, it does quite a nice job as a primer but because it's so expensive I don't know if you can really justify the price and this is also supposed to be firming a bit and I don't really see or I don't really feel the firming effects but to be honest the longer you use it the more you see the firming effects and most importantly what you really see is the brightness and I was surprised to see that some of you or even more they you even send me messages asking me more about it and how I like it and if I still like it and if I still use it because you found my makeup much more brighter on the first impressions video when I use this and this is actually a product that combines makeup with skincare so I believe that the longer you use it the more you can see the results and this is one of the Le Petit Robe Noir lipsticks the shade is uh, 21 I think it's called Red Teddy uh, but I will link the first impressions video down below and you can see it's a very very beautiful color I will swatch it also for you it's very sheer but it's really nice and comfortable of the lips you can really reapply it very easily sometimes you don't even need a mirror I like the packaging although the packaging to be honest it's quite bulky for a lipstick because this is really a lot of waste of space but it looks really really cute really nice reminds the perfume and that was the whole point of this line and the color is really nice for spring days that you just ha want a hint of color on your lips and I'm really enjoying it and um, also it feels very smooth and very soft on the lips so I'm not a huge fan of sheer lipsticks but this really it gained my heart I have another lipstick that it's completely different and this is the healthy matte lipstick from MAC and I hope that I pronounced this correctly but this is from a limited edition line that they release a few products that they are collaborations with some artists and I think especially singers and this is the only thing that really caught my attention and I wanted it so much I was stalking the website here in Switzerland to see when they will have it I think that it's still available and certainly in other countries too and this is a grey matte lipstick I have some grey matte lipsticks but this is such a nice shade of grey and it's really opaque it has a very good coverage and um, I know that not everyone like really weird colored lipsticks but this is something that I really enjoy this lipstick I have been wearing quite a lot of days since I got it also in the office and I have been getting a lot of compliments depending on how you will style it of course with the rest of your makeup but it's a really nice one and although it's matte it doesn't feel very drying so it's a really nice formula in my opinion I have a concealer to show you and this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer this is a concealer that I have been also hearing so many things about and reading in blog posts since it went out and uh, actually a friend of mine got this from me from Sephora Greece the say that I have is uh, Y23 and it's a really nice very good coverage concealer the packaging is like this so it doesn't have a brush or something it's just a tube and it has 7 ml of products and this will last you for very long because you just need a tiny bit of this to cover imperfections on your face 
I actually been using that also under my eyes but what I do because I think that I don't like the formula very close under my eye because I think that it's a formula that it will not set that nicely and it might creep in my small lines. I just put it here and I blend it mostly outwards and downwards just to cover the dark circles and give a bit of light and this is actually a really good shade although I didn't try it before she chose it for me and I'm really happy by using this most of the times I will just apply this and if I want a bit more concealing closer to my eye I will use my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer this is really really good also it's really good for uh, acne scars and little spots on the face I have two drugstore products that you have seen in my last video but I had to talk about them and mention them in my favorites video and they are both brow products from NYX this is the NYX micro brow pencil I have the shade taupe and this is the NYX eyebrow gel and I have the shade chocolate I will not say a lot because I have reviewed them for you in my latest NYX whole swatches first impressions video and uh, I will just say that I really use them all the time since I got them and started using them the NYX uh, pencil is really similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's much much cheaper and they're really nice you can use them to do these perfect Instagram brows but you can also use them to have a more natural but uh, a bit taking care of brows and I really really like that I have some eyeshadows to show you and one of these shadows is from Essence and it's the Rosy Flamingo eyeshadow that I got uh, on my latest trip in Germany but you can also find it here in Switzerland and wherever they carry Essence I don't think it's a limited edition and this is a very very highlighting shade and this looks so beautiful, you see, I love using this in the inner corner of my eyes, but I have also used this as a highlighter, and oh my god, really, the glow is so amazing, so if you like pinky highlighters, you don't need to break the bank, this is a really, really good product that you can use on your eyes and as a highlighter, and it's so, so beautiful, but it's certainly not subtle. And then I have two palettes and um, let me know if you would want me to review them for you. I'm planning to review certainly the Morphe one. So this is the Morphe 12S palette that I have purchased from Cosmetics Obsession which is a store here in Switzerland. And uh, I have already reviewed some Morphe products and another of the biggest 35 palettes on the blog. And uh, I was not completely wild by it but I liked it quite a lot by this palette really it's just so good and I'm wearing today a combination of the two palettes that I'm showing you and this one the colors are so nice every single shade is amazingly pigmented I think that the quality of the shadows that they come in these 12 palettes it's much better in my opinion overall than the 35 ones or at least from the ones that I have used and tried and also from the single ones that I have tried because if you remember I will put the link down below I have also shown you some singles that I bought from the Jaclyn Hill favorites that she had included in a palette and I I don't know what to say, we are talking about extreme pigment here, I will just swatch a few for you and some lighter shades too. The bad thing with this palette is that you can see here the swatches like really amazingly pigmented. The bad thing is that every single shade in here is simmery and I think that's why I like them so much because I like the Simmery Morphe eyeshadows much more than their matte ones but it's not a standalone palette for many people so actually what I would like 
is one highlight say that it will be a bit lighter than the ones in the first row and also a good matte crease shade that's why I love using this together with this palette that I have got from Milani and this is the Milani Everyday Eyes eyeshadow collection in the shade Earthy Elements and it has six shades in here and the ones that I love the most and use the most, although I like the rest also, is the two matte ones. You can see they are these two. This is like a caramel brown shade and this is an orange shade. They're both matte, they're really pigmented. All of them, also the Morphe palette that I show you, they blend really, really nice and I love the result that they give on the eyes. I really really love them and they're really good price. So obviously today I'm showing also quite a few of drugstore products which I'm really happy about that. But saying that I will show you a high-end product and this is from Bobbi Brown and I have to be honest I don't know if it's still available because it was from an older um, limited edition collection but some of these shades they made permanent so I don't know this is the brightening finishing powder and the shade that I have here is porcelain pearl if you have seen my products I regret buying video you will see that I show you this powder as a product that I regret buying and actually it's not the same one it was a different shade and this is the porcelain pearl shade. This is actually a finishing powder that has the color combination that the Guerlain meteorites have and it's really easier to travel with this than with the meteorites and uh, when I found the other one that I showed in the regret buying video I also realized that I need to start using this more because I start using the other one more just to not leave it to go to waste. I use it as a light bronzer to just warm my face a bit but this one I love so much. It's a similar product as I said with the meteorites or with the hourglass powders and I use it at the end of my makeup as a finishing powder and it's a really nice finish on your makeup and a really nice brightness and I love this and it's so nice to travel with compared to other more bulky products and uh, we're almost there I have a nail polish and actually I don't want to show this specific nail polish but just to mention that uh, this month I have remembered how much I love using holographic nail polishes they are my absolute favorites together with duo and multi-chrome nail polishes and I love them so much more than cream nail polishes I love this kind of polishes like also glitter so much more and I don't know why I have not been using them all the time I, I know that I have like a ton of nail polish and sometimes I feel that I need to use them all a lot but I have decided that I mostly need to use the ones that I love the most and the holographic nail polishes they are a bit tricky they're not always so easy to apply and they are not staying as long on the nails but they look so so beautiful and I used this one a few days ago and I posted it on Instagram and you all loved it so much and I decided that I would just dig out all my holographic nail polishes and use them all the time. And I might actually just today have ordered a scatter hollow top coat so that I can just apply it over my cream polishes to make them more beautiful and then I can also use them more. So this is from Goss and it's called um, Holographic Hero. And I think I have gotten this from UK some time ago and it's like a silver holographic polish. You can already see like the rainbow effect from the bottle. It's one of the stronger holographic nail polishes. And this, as it says on the bottle, it says one night wear for holographic lovers. And it's actually not a polish that stays really long on the nails and it has crazy tip wear but I think that I managed to get something like a two and a half days wear for that and I was actually quite impressed so I think that uh, 
uh, I will give it uh, more tries and see if I can do something to just increase the wear but it's certainly such such a beautiful color the problem with the holographic nail polish is that they're very distracting for me when I work because I tend to just look at my nails and I have to admit that I do that although it's not adult like at all I have one last product to show you that it's somewhere on the fence between products that I loved and products that they sucked. So just to be more specific, this is the Real Techniques Deep Cleansing Gel. I also got that from the Cosmetic Obsession store and this is like a brass gel and um, I have been using it since I got it and I wanted to share my opinion with you. It's not a bad product. It was very weird for me to use exactly because it's in a gel formula. And I actually think that the packaging, and that's what I don't like, it's not appropriate for the product. Because it's a gel, you have to squeeze, and it opens like that, you have to squeeze and then the gel comes out. But it sucks in very quickly, it's not easy to control the quantity that you will use and that you will need and that's something that I really don't like. I like the scent a lot, it has this lemony fresh scent and I also think that it does quite a good job but I think it doesn't really work that well or it needs a huge amount that I have not tried that on uh, really dense foundation brushes. So I have, uh, in general these are among the worst and more uh, difficult to clean, but I have a problem with my Sigmax brushes or even like the Real Technique dense brushes that you can use for your base. They are not so easy to clean with that. So I think this is wonderful for eye brushes, but I actually clean my eye brushes on a simple bar of soap and that's also very easy. But it's also nice for like blast brushes and contour brushes, bronzer brushes and brushes like that. But uh, now that I know which are its strengths and which are its weaknesses, I think it's a nice product. I am not convinced that I will repurchase it. Uh, I think it would, I would really love it if it came with a pump because I like gel cleansing products for my brushes and I actually what I usually use is like Garnier gel that it's like a cleansing face gel and uh, it works really nice with my brushes and this is not very expensive but also not really cheap so I would like it to work much better and I have to say that I'm using that in combination with my Sigma brass cleansing mat so this makes cleansing the brushes already much easier than just cleansing them with your hands so I don't know if it will work as well if you just wash your brass on your hand I'm continuing with products that sucked this month and the first one that I need to mention I wrote it down to not forget it because I don't actually have it because I used it up and it is the last rub 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 scrub bar so if you are here in this channel for long you know that rub 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 from last is one of my favorite body scrubs and that's why I wanted to get the scrub bar when I saw that it comes in a bar and trying. But I don't like the bar. First of all, the scent is not so intense. It's not so easy to use. It's not... It's also not really solid. It looks solid, but when you use it, then it crumbles very easily. It's very uncomfortable to use and although it does a good job at the end, I didn't enjoy it, not even like half as much as I enjoy the actual rub 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 in the pot. So I'm certainly not getting that again. So not a bad product, but certainly a disappointing one. Another disappointing but not really bad product is this from NYX that you have seen in my last video about the NYX haul and swatches and review that I talked about and this is the highlight and contour pro palette so I will not I can talk like hours about this product I will not say a lot I will just link the video down below but this is a product that it's not something that I would suggest you to run and get it as a good highlighting and contour palette it has eight shades 
and uh, only one of them I would say it's good enough for contour in light skin tones or medium skin tones maybe and I'm also not so in love with the choices in the highlighters I think that this is not a horrible product and you can certainly use them as eyeshadows and they work really well as eyeshadows as I mentioned in my last video but there are so many contouring palettes in, out there and I would not recommend you to go and get this one. And the last product is maybe the largest disappointment. So as I mentioned, I was searching through my hollow policies and you know, nail polish is one of these products that it's really, really difficult to go bad. I, they have so many chemicals in them, most of the brands at least, some brands that they're more nature friendly and they have not so many chemicals in them. So if it was a polish like that I would expect it to go bad maybe or clumpy easier but most of the nail polishes they can last, I have never ever seen in my life a nail polish to go sticky and horrible and bad unless it's like really near the end of it and I have so many that this is really rare unless it's like a really bad quality very very cheap nail polish so I had some of this like when I was really young as a high school or like a college student like the first years when I start getting a few nail policies and some of them they went bad like but again not very quickly and I have this really expensive NFO NFUO I don't know how to pronounce them holographic nail policies and I got them uh, we have ordered them with some of my friends because you can see like the bottle is amazing really the bottle is one of the most beautiful that I have ever seen and they are supposed to have one of the strongest holographic effects out there and I got this one and another one that I will also show you now on my empties video and I just want to show you how they look right now after I use them maybe two or three times in my life so this looks a bit better but I opened the drawer and I found out this so you can see it looks like it's completely empty and like whatever it was the actual holographic polish is stuck on the bottom like just here and this is something that I have never ever ever seen in a nail polish and certainly that's something that you cannot recover that looks like a stone and everything is dried up and completely disgusting and this is also a nail polish that had a huge amount so in my opinion I would say there are so many nice policies out there holographic or not holographic and this has 17 ml when you have 17 ml in a nail polish bottle then you really expect that it's something that it will last you long even if you don't have a few hundreds of nail polishes like me because most of the bottles don't carry so much I tried to save this one which was also somewhere here and it could not be saved so I will throw both of them away and the only product that I'm happy from this brand and it's still in a good condition I checked is an aqua base they have which is a bit special for holographic nail polish but you don't really need it to be completely honest it's okay it makes the hollow apply a bit better but you can just use your normal uh, base coat and this is a huge disappointment in I'm so annoyed by this because really it's not that I put it in the drawer and I have forgotten its existence for years and years. I'm going through my nail policies all the time and maybe I have not checked this drawer for a few months and I see this and this is just crap. For this amount of money and this quality I'm sorry but I certainly will just tell you not buy this crap there's so many holographic nail policies out there and it doesn't worth it at all I'm continuing with the rest of the products that they have finished and uh, I have here the 
Zilet Satin Care Saving Gel and this is one of my favorite saving gels that I have been using it's the one with aloe vera and it's really nice and I like it a lot but as I told you I could not find it so I got the Mueller one which is also a pretty decent one so I might be uh, alternating them or buying the Mueller one because it's much more cheap I have a Garnier Micellar Cleanser All-in-One I like this cleanser a lot, this micellar water. I don't like it as much as the Bioderma, but it's much easier for me to find it here in Switzerland. So when I'm out of Bioderma, I'm buying this because it does a quite of a decent job and I'm pretty pleased with it. I have another cleansing product and this is maybe like three-fourths empty but I'm throwing it away because I really dislike it and I don't want to use it up and this is the Coress 3-in-1 cleansing emulsion and it's the milk proteins one and I think that it has to do not with the product per se but with the consistency I really think that Cleansing products have evolved so much. There are cleansing oils and micellar waters and um, two-phased oils and cleansing balms and so many things to remove your makeup that these kind of cleansing emulsions, these typical lotions that my mother used when she was my age, I don't like them. And this is supposed to be really good also for sensitive skin, but it sucks and I suffer every time that I'm using it for my makeup and I don't think it removes my makeup so nicely, so I don't want to use it anymore. I have a shampoo and this is the Kerastase Chronologist Revitalizing Shampoo. This is a really, really nice uh, line from Kerastase, the Chronologist one that, that really revitalizes your hair and it's for all hair types. Uh, it's not my favorite one because the scent is not my favorite one and my favorite line is the Discipline line. It smells fantastic, it's the shampoo that I'm using right now and uh, it still was a really nice shampoo and I think that a lot of people will enjoy it. I'm just not planning to repurchase it. I have uh, the Clarins Brightening Gentle Exfoliator Toner and I have talked about this in a previous favorites video it's a really nice exfoliating toner it's not easy to find this I think it's only available in UK certainly it's not available in Switzerland or in Greece and in many other countries anymore I don't know why I love exfoliating toners I think that they do this mild exfoliation and I use them every night and uh, I like it but I like I wanted to compare it with the glow tonic from pixie and I like that one more so I don't know if I would repurchase it because I can only find this in UK and if I go in UK I prefer to go and get the pixie glow tonic one which I think I also can order online I have a toothpaste and I'm just uh, I just kept this because I think it's the first time that I tried it and it's the Colgate Sensation White with uh, micro uh, cleansing crystals. I liked it quite a lot. It's a whitening toothpaste. It does quite a good job and it's quite pleasant to use. And I have repurchased that again. I have the Clerazil Ultra. Uh, everything is in German here. So they're like pads. This was full of face pads that they are perfect for acne prone skin and then I think that they do, you use them and in like 4 hours you can already see a visible improvement on the pimples that you might have. I didn't see a huge result with them. So I cannot say that I will repurchase them. I think they have like a peeling version that you cannot find in Switzerland. Again, you can find in UK and I would like to get that one. But this one was not really doing something for me. And of course, I didn't expect necessarily that in four hours every pimple would disappear. But I thought that maybe also by using them like... 
regularly you will see an improvement of your acne scars or anything and I didn't see anything this is a body product and I have been using it for quite some time and uh, that finally I finished it up and this is the CNKCOS Sexy Bean so I think I have talked about this product in the past and I said that I kind of like it and it's supposedly really good for your body supposedly it helps eliminating problems on your body and you're just it was full of small beans that you just crumble and you just um, apply it on your body and this is really good for cellulite as I have said in the past about all these cellulite products I cannot really say if they're working because I'm not a person that I'm active, I'm sportive, I do a lot of sports and stuff like that uh, and I take a lot of measures to avoid cellulite so a product like that, no product is a magic product that will disappear every trace of cellulite without you doing some other stuff but it was really really enjoyable to use and it had a really nice consistency and a nice texture and uh, I don't know if I can find it again because Memebox is not anymore uh, sending products to Europe but I might search it on eBay it lasted really long and it was not very expensive if I remember correctly and it gives like it's really nice to do like a massage in this area and I could see some difference in the texture of the skin it just as I said it's not like a wonder product that will solve all your cellulite problems I have quite a few face masks here and uh, I have one snake mask from the Daily Dewey Mask Pack and I would not say anything else because you know how much I love this I also have one of the Hello Kitty Collagen Deep Moisturizing Recovery Masks I love this a lot and then I have two masks oh, I have another Daily Dewey Mask Pack this is the Bee Venom one so obviously I kept more masks this time than other times because most of the times I just forget it and throw them away I have the Real Nature Mask with Sea Butter from the Face Shop that I got uh, on my last haul from the e-beauty and care online store here in Switzerland and I really 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 like this mask and what I enjoyed the most is that it fit really it fitted really nice on my face because most of the times because I have very small forehead a lot of mask just remains up and like falls on my hair or I have to fold it and it's a bit annoying but this was a really really good fit and it was really moisturizing it's perfect for dry skin but it's also really good if you just want some moisture back to your skin but the one I liked the most and I was most excited about to try it is the Innisfree it's real squeeze mask strawberry so this is like um, radiance mask and I used it when I went to Leicester but I remember to bring it back and it says that it's a real source mask with moisture from squeezed strawberries I really really like the texture of this mask and how it applied so this three layer mask thing that uh, I was wondering what exactly it was it's not something that you can see in the mask it just feels like a really good quality mask and it applies nicely and uh, it was one of my favorites I really li really liked it I have another Korean product so I have a pack of the non coat tea tree spot patches here that I got as a replacement for my favorite Coco Star spot patches these are really good I enjoy using them and uh, I have repurchased them and the company is called Apie I have some travel size products here that I used up so this is the Siseido Ibuki gentle cleanser and I really really didn't like this I have used a few sample sizes from this line from Siseido the Ibuki line but the cleanser I don't know the consistency it was like 
cream and it was very difficult to remove afterwards so if you use this I think that you need to you cannot wash it off you need a washing cloth to remove it but I really really like the Estee Lauder Idealist Even Skin Illuminator so this is a really nice serum and I really enjoyed using it and uh, maybe at some point in the future I will repurchase it it doesn't it's not better than my favorite serums like the Lancome Visionaire that they are also very high end but it was a really nice one and I certainly liked using this. I have a balm, a lip balm, this was from an old uh, collection from Essence from the Snow Jam collection and it was nothing special, not really hydrating but uh, I got it because it was blue and uh, it looked nice and funky so nothing really special and I also have two um, cream shadows from Essence that they, I used half of them and then they got dry and I decided to throw them away and they bought from the Ticket to Paradise limited edition collection one was a minty green the dive with me to the island and the other one was the tropical heat and these were not among my favorite cream eyeshadows also from Essence they had this moussey consistency but it was not really easy to apply them neatly I have a Catrice primer the prime and fine smoothing refiner I have made a video about my drugstore and about my high-end primer so I can put the link down below this was a quite nice primer I really like to use it in the area here and around my nose and I can see really see some results of my pores but it was not my favorite one at some point maybe I will repurchase it I'm not sure about that it was certainly not a bad product and because you use really a little bit it lasts long I think what I really don't like with products like that is that they come in a pot and you have to dip your finger in it and that's something that I really don't like I have two kill products one is skincare and I have reviewed that and I will put the review down below and it's the blemish control daily skin clearing treatment and it's this one it has salicylic acid and uh, hydroxy acids and this was a really nice acne treatment and acne preventing treatment that most importantly didn't dry out my skin at all I think I will repurchase it at some point in the future but maybe now I want to try some different ones but this was a really good product not a miracle one but a nice one and this is my favorite BB cream my favorite Western BB cream and this is the Kiehl's actively correcting and beautifying BB cream with vitamin C this is my second tube I love this product I think that it's really travel friendly it has SPF 50 it has vitamin C it has a really nice finish very dewy really nice good coverage I love this and I have the most fair one I don't know if this is light or fair or whatever but I think they have three shades and I have the lightest one and I think that uh, I'm I'm almost done I used up my Grow Stronger Base Coat. This is my favorite base coat from Essie. I think that I have tried almost all their base coats. There is just a bit of it stuck in the bottom around the bottle but uh, I could not use this up and it's a bit clumpy so I decided to just throw it away and I need to repurchase it because I like it more than the Sally Hansen base coat that I'm using right now and this is a really good one and it helps my nails to feel stronger and I have two um, small perfume samples that I told you that I will try to remember to keep and show you this is the Armani Coat Satin but I don't remember if I spoke about it in my last video because I think I had two of them and if anyway I really like this a lot and I enjoy using it and I think that this will be one of the perfumes that will be candidates for me to buy and the next one was in my Kiehl's calendar and it's the Kiehl's Aromatic Blend Patchouli and Fresh Rose Aromatic Mist it's not a bad one the scent was pleasant but it was not intense it didn't stay long on the skin so I would certainly not buy this and I think that most of these mists have a similar effect so I'm not willing to buy any of them 
So these were all the products that rocked, sucked and have finished in April. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have all the relevant links down below about reviews that I have done from some of these products and I'm planning to review some more of them in the near future. Please let me know if you have used any of these products and you like them or if you would like to see a more uh, detailed review on some of these that I have not reviewed already. And I will also have down below my playlist with this kind of videos if you want to see more of my favorite videos uh, or empties videos. And that's it from me. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. And we will talk next week in another video. Until then, many, many kisses.